Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Man, I love this star screen. I just wish he'd stand out in my collection a little bit more. Hey! Patriot Prime? Have you heard of ToyHacks.com? Yeah, I watch you and you talk about them all the time, but I've never ordered anything. Here, put these Toy Hacks decals on your star screen and tell me what you think. Hey, how'd you do that? Okay, give me a few minutes to put these on. A few moments later. Wow, Patriot Prime. Toy Hacks made my figure look amazing. I'm going to order some more right now, and I'll tell them Patriot Prime sent me. Thank you. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. The feature bot in this video is 2002's Transformers Armada Supercon or Deluxe Class Optimus Prime with Overrun. After the success of my Tidal Wave video from a couple weeks ago, I decided to dig out some of my other Armada figures and unfortunately, I only have two others. I have this Optimus Prime here and Armada Unicron sitting here in front of me. So, I took this guy off the shelf today for the first time in years. I've been messing around with him and forgot how unique and quirky this figure was. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at this 20-year-old Optimus Prime and see how he holds up today. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now we'll start things off by looking at Armada Optimus Prime and Overrun in their alt modes. Prime, of course, is a red and blue truck, while Overrun is a jet. And taking a closer look at Overrun, I really like this jet mode. This is really cool looking, very futuristic, very streamlined. Got some nice paint applications there for the cockpit and back there on the tail fins. So, pretty neat for what it is and it also has retractable landing gear which you don't often see even in Voyager size jets. He does have wheels here on the back and these right here these are pins for the arms they are not wheels and what's funny if he has his landing gear down or up it makes no difference how he sits just because of the pins there for the arms. Now to transform Overrun into robot mode, you just simply fold the wings back, flip him around here, separate the arms, and bring the landing gear down, and bring down the chest, and there's Overrun in robot mode, and he's very GoBot looking. I like the face sculpt with the yellow visor, but he does have one issue, that chest. All they had to do was add one more pin to bring that chest all the way down, but we're stuck with that. And you know, that really reminds me of something else. So anyway, articulation for overrun, the arms can do almost a complete 360, but they are gonna hit this section right here with the shoulder joint. I guess the shoulders can move in and out. And for some reason, he can do a Van Dam. Don't know why, but it's there. And that's pretty much it for the articulation. Overrun also has a third mode, his gun mode. Just 
transforming, got tongue tied, got transforming back to jet mode, except leave the wings up and then take the tail fin, flip this around. Let's see, and that'll expose a five millimeter peg. Actually, you're gonna bring the wings up this way. So you've got this going on and make sure and peg those arms into the little slots. So that's overruns gun mode. So it's an upside down jet with the wings folded up. And that's pretty much it. Now you can take Prime here and there is a port on the back of Prime. You can plug overrun in and since that handle is on a hinge, Prime can have a rotating cannon on the back of his truck mode. So yeah, there you go. So now let's take a look at Prime and Prime's truck mode is a big beefy truck and I am going to be honest with you Armada's prime truck mode reminds me of a souped up rescue bot it's big and chunky just like rescue bot prime here so that's kind of what I see with the Armada line I mean I've said this before the main reason I didn't collect a lot of the Armada figures I just thought they looked like play school I guess they were called go bots back then there wasn't rescue bots but still he's a decent truck mode and he's got some great paint applications you got the yellow headlights the lights there on top of the cab the gray windows that go all the way around some gold trim right there wheels look really good and he rolls awesome i mean that's that's pretty slick right there paint applications here on the back as well he's also got a hitch and from what i read if you have the larger optimus prime this prime can carry the trailer so yeah, lots of nice sculpted details, lots of nice paint applications on the figure, and he's solid, man. You could throw this one across the room, and it's not going to damage anything whatsoever. A modern figure, you sneeze, it falls apart. So now let's get Prime transformed into robot mode. First thing we're going to do is flip this section here up and separate the legs. And now you're going to pull the legs down, extend those. Go ahead and flip the feet around. Bring the butt skirt back. Take the front of the cab, the grill, bring this down and around. Take the arms, bring it down like so. And now you're gonna kind of collapse these up. It's a really tight joint. Collapse those up like so. Bring the arms further down. And now you're gonna take the grill section here, bring this up. You got two pegs that's going to slot in right there. Go ahead and take the forearms, turn these around, and take this little blue section here and push up over the bicep, revealing the fists. And there you have Armada Deluxe Prime in robot mode. And Prime in robot mode looks pretty good, though he's a little misproportioned. I mean, he... Did not skip shoulder day at all. He's just got this very wide look to him. And he's just a beefy Optimus Prime figure. Once again, great paint applications. You got the silver for the crest, yellow eyes, silver mouth plate. There's some yellow right there for lights. Blue here on the side of the chest with some little yellow circles. You got paint applications down here on the shins. And you can see the gold around the forearms and he actually has gold fingers he has these smokestacks now attached to his forearms that can be weapons but be warned these things just peg on and there's really no function for that other than to get lost so if you're looking for one of these on the third market or ebay make sure he's got these little smokestacks articulation for prime his head's on a ball joint can look up and down do a complete 360 the arms can do a complete 360. They can go out, but that looks a little weird. There's an elbow bend, there's an elbow rotation, no wrist rotation, waist rotation. Legs can go forward very slightly. And I guess they can go back if you move that butt flap out of the way. There is a knee bend on a nice ratchet and a very slight ankle tilt. So. Lots of posability for this 2002 figure. He just can't stand very well. So now we get Overrun here and we can put him in Prime's fist like so. 
And there you have Armada Optimus Prime, all armed and ready for battle. Now, of course, Prime being an Armada figure, he does have a gimmick with his Minicon. Take Overrun here, and you can see the little Minicon port or hole there. Prime has a peg on his back, and what you're gonna do is go ahead and kind of position the hands like so. Plug Overrun in the back here. And now you just simply move the lever up and down, and this happens. That's it. It looks like Prime is being electrocuted. So the leader of the Autobots, <laughs> that's the gimmick they give him. That sucks. <laughs> but it is what it is. I guess kids in 2002 thought that was awesome with Optimus Prime with his electrocution or getting shot action feature. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is 2002's Transformers Armada Supercon Optimus Prime with Overrun with Generation 1 Optimus Prime, Rescue Bots Optimus Prime, and Siege Optimus Prime. 2002's Transformers Armada Supercon Optimus Prime with Overrun is a pretty cool Transformers toy set. I like this figure a lot better than I did the Super Optimus Prime that had the self-transforming trailer and all the overwhelming amount of gimmicks, which is probably why I still have this Optimus Prime and sold off, I guess he was called Super Lynx back in the day. Overrun's pretty cool for a Minicon. I love the jet mode. Robot mode will be a lot cooler if he didn't have that massive double D chest. And Optimus Prime looks great. He's big, he's beefy, but his gimmick absolutely sucks. So there you go, guys. Transformers Armada 2002 Supercon Optimus Prime with Overrun. So, does a 2002 Transformers Armada Supercon Optimus Prime with Overrun belong in your collection? Well, if you're an Optimus Prime fan or an Armada fan, I'd say absolutely. This is a fun figure. He's a little weird. He's a little quirky, but he's so cool. You know, and considering he's 20 years old and just as durable as he was the day I took him out of the package, that is awesome. And I think you can actually find these guys fairly cheap on eBay still. Like I said, you just want to watch out to make sure his smokestack wrist guns are attached. So yeah, you see a Supercon Optimus Prime on the shelf or in the shop or wherever, pick him up, you are not going to be disappointed. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!